According to Greek mythology, on a road between the ancient cities of Athens and Eleusis, a small estate was situated, in which travelers were shown a rather sinister kind of hospitality. In the estate, a man named Damastes lived. According to the story, he abducted travelers and had them spend the night in a special kind of bed. Damastes was a perfectionist. The bed had to fit the traveler perfectly. However, rather than correcting the bed to the traveler, he chopped off the legs of those who were too tall for it and stretched those who were too short. Because of this, he was nicknamed Procrustes, which means the stretcher. This is a top 5 takeaway summary of The Bed of Procrustes, written by Nassim Taleb. When faced with limited knowledge, the unseen and the unknown, we humans try to solve the issue by squeezing reality into crisp commoditized ideas, models and uh, reductive categories. This is fitting reality in a Procrustean bed. The argument for doing so is often, well, it's uh, better than nothing at all. But that's false. We're better off with no models or categories at all, rather than relying on defect ones, as the latter gives us a false sense of security. This book is different than Nassim Taleb's typical work, as it consists entirely of aphorisms. Each aphorism acts as a rule of thumb, which is targeting or countering a Procrustean bed of sorts. In this video, I will present the aphorisms that are most relevant for the topics on this channel. But dude, do you even know what an aphorism is? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> I know everything about aphroism. Now, I will take Nassim Taleb's book and put it into my Procrustean bed of a top 5 takeaways. He'll probably hate me for it. Enjoy! Takeaway number 1. Thoughts on economics and economists. The left holds that uh, because markets are stupid, models should be smart. The right believes that because models are stupid, markets should be smart. Alas, it never hit both sides that both markets and models are very stupid. Economics cannot digest the idea that the collective and the aggregate are disproportionately less predictable than individuals. An economist is a mixture of 1. A businessman without common sense 2. A physicist without brains and 3. A speculator without balls Takeaway number 2. Successful investing. The sucker's trap is when you focus on what you know and what others don't know, rather than the reverse. If something, say uh, a stock price, looks slightly out of line, it is out of line. If it looks way out of line, you are wrong in your method of evaluation. What they call risk, I call opportunity. But what they call low-risk opportunity, I call sucker's problem. Takeaway number 3. Choosing your career path. The three most harmful addictions are heroin, carbohydrates and a monthly salary. Karl Marx, a visionary, figured out that you can control a slave much better by convincing him he is an employee. Decomposition, for most, starts when they leave the free, social and uncorrupted college life for the solitary confinement of professions and nuclear families. Takeaway number 4. When trading, never 
forget that saying someone is good at making profits but not good at managing risk is like saying someone is a great surgeon except for cases when the patients die. The characteristic feature of the loser is to bemoan, in general terms, mankind's flaws, biases, contradictions and irrationality without exploiting them for fun and profit. When people say, I am investing for the long term, it means they are losing money. Takeaway number 5. How to become successful. To figure out how well you will do 10 years from now relative to someone else, count your enemies, count his and square the ratio. People focus on role models. It is more effective to find anti-models, people you don't want to resemble when you grow up. There are two types of people. Those who try to win and those who try to win arguments. They are never the same. Nassim Taleb writes with no holds barred. So if you feel targeted and uh, perhaps a bit offended Ow. by some of these aphorisms, know that you are not alone. Taleb hit me right where it hurts with these two. <laughs> Ouch! Ah! That was the final part of the Inserto series. I hope you enjoyed my summaries of Nassim Taleb's landmark series. The other books in the series are Fooled by Randomness, um, The Black Swan, Anti-Fragile and Skin in the Game. If you want to check them out, I'll link to the playlist in the description. Cheers guys! I hope to see you again next time.